here from NorCal Brewing Solutions. Hey, I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about how we are setting up our Spidel cross fermenter kit so you can do oxygen free transfers and how you can use this um, for your fermentation process, um, the whole gamut. So basically what we have is this is our Spidel cross, um, cross fermenter kit and what it has is it has gas in, it has a racking cane that is totally adjustable even while you are fermenting, even while you have gas in here, we use a, a little silicone o-ring in here to keep this airtight. And then we have our blow-off system, which you can actually use this for um, to escape gas during fermentation, and you can use this to fill if you wanted to actually fill with this as well. Um, so. The way I have this set up right now, I have this with our racking cane using the half-inch male NPT um, ball valve, and then I'm using cam lock fittings. You can use cam lock, quick disconnect, barb, whatever you want to use. So um, to do an oxygen-free transfer is really, really pretty simple. Um, if we are finished with our fermentation in here and we wanted to actually transfer this into our keg, what we would do is first go in here and evacuate this keg with all of our um, oxygen. So basically what I would do is take the CO2 tank and I would go to the inside and I'm going to go ahead and add gas to this. And so what I'm doing is filling this up with gas and then I would expel all of the oxygen that gets pushed out of here um, to try and create an oxygen free environment here. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and bleed all that off. And then I would connect my gas over here to the fermenter. I would make sure that all of my ball valves are closed. And I'm going to use another beer line, which is going to connect to my racking cane. I'm using cam lock, like I said. So, and then this is going to connect to my beer out, or my liquid out, okay? So now what I'm going to be doing is filling this vessel from the bottom up. And so I would set my racking cane down all the way to the very bottom. And then me, I like to pull it up just a little bit to get it off that trub. And then I'm going to set my CO2 system down to where there's basically no gas leaving here whatsoever and turn it on. And then I can turn this on. And then I can start increasing my gas going into the fermenter. And what I'm doing is I'm watching right here until liquid starts to flow. I'm just going to increase. So now what we're doing is we're adding gas into the fermenter. We need to make sure that the gas has a place to leave once it leaves the keg. So I'm going to pull up my pressure relief valve on my lid. And now I am pushing this liquid in to the bottom of this keg and pushing all of the gas out of this keg as it fills. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing this fairly slow. Uh, most of the time you'll get a little indicator here about how fast you're going. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to leave it and um, let it go until this keg is full. A lot of people ask me, how do you know when this keg is full? Um, usually for me, I forget about it, so foam starts blowing out the top. But actually, if you wanted to take and set this keg on a scale, you could fill this up via weight. So beer weighs about the same as water, um, so uh, which is about a little over 8 pounds per gallon. So, you know, you can put about 40, 42 pounds of beer in one of these and, um, you know, it's going to be really, really close to your five gallons. So I hope that helps kind of understand how the cross fermenter kit works um, for the Spidel. We have this also for the um, Sankey kegs. Uh, we have a video out for that as well. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to shoot us an email. Um, at uh, sales at NorCalBrewingSolutions.com. You can send them to me personally at jbird at NorCalBrewingSolutions.com. Um, hope that helps. Cheers.